We've all seen large swarms of birds in autumn evening. Did you ever wonder how these birds stay together like that? What is the physics behind this phenomenon? Let's have a closer look at what active matter actually is. One of the features of active matter is that the individual parts that make up the matter consume energy. This means that systems of active matter are out of equilibrium. Most active matter systems are of biological origin. We find a lot of examples of active matter in nature. Some examples of active matter are crowd behavior, schools of fish, the dynamics of traffic and traffic jams, and of course the swarming of birds. How can we model such a swarm? One of the most studied models is the so-called Vicsec model. In the beginning of the 1990s, a Hungarian scientist called Tamás Vicsec and his colleagues tried to describe the collective motion of birds. Vicsec was inspired by a theory of the German physicist Werner Heisenberg, who had developed a theory about the magnetic behavior of materials. He considered an atom to be a freely rotating magnetic bar. Each magnetic bar wants to align itself with its neighboring magnets. Vicsec used a similar method to describe the swarming behavior. Every bird in the swarm wants to align its velocity with the average velocity of its neighbors within a certain radius. The alignment of the bird with its neighbors is not perfect however, there is some noise present. This noise comes from the idea that each bird cannot see and react on its neighbors with infinite precision. Taking the noise into account, swarming behavior can be described by a set of simple rules. This can be described with this equation which gives us the expression for the new direction of each bird after a time step delta t. This new direction theta i is the average of the directions of itself and the neighboring bird, which we call theta r. We also add a noise term nu. This term samples random values from a normal distribution. We scale these random values with a parameter eta allowing us to control the amount of noise present in the model. In each time step, this equation is calculated for all of the birds in the model. Here's what the model looks like in action. It's pretty similar to a real swarm of birds. The motion of the birds is very sensitive to the noise strength in the model. Here we see the behavior with two different values of the noise strength. On the left, we see the model at a noise strength of 0.15, at this value, the model clearly shows swarming behavior. On the right, we have increased the noise strength to 0.6, and the swarming behavior has disappeared, and the motion is now random. This shows that a phase transition occurs in the system. This transition can be studied by introducing an order parameter which distinguishes swarming behavior from random motion. To quantify this, we look at the distribution of directions of all the birds in the simulation. We add up all these direction vectors and divide by the total number of birds. This gives us the order parameter, the velocity correlation. If the motion is random, then there is no correlation in the velocities and the order parameter is zero. If all birds are aligned, the order parameter has the value one. Here we take another look at the influence of the noise strength. We slowly decrease the noise strength and keep track of the correlation. As the noise decreases, the correlation increases and the behavior changes from random motion to swarming behavior. As we decrease the amount of noise even further, the order parameter approaches 1 and all the birds take on the same direction, which is not in harmony with nature. We can see that simple rules can lead to interesting complex behavior. The model can be expanded upon by for instance introducing an obstacle. This means adding rules for avoiding behavior on top of the swarming behavior. By adding these additional rules, we can adapt the model to describe a whole range of active matter systems, not just swarms or birds. In conclusion, the Vicsec model is a good basis for modeling active matter systems. The model shows a phase transition and provides a reasonable description of swarming. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and go watch some swarming.